Do you want to join the Sandbox Metaverse community? Are you a newbie and don't know how to go about this? Well, you've come to the right place. In today's video, I'll be walking you through the process of creating a Sandbox account using a MetaMask wallet. Welcome to Flores Online Explains, the YouTube channel that wants to make a difference. The purpose of my YouTube channel is to provide information and explain the most important blockchain, crypto and NFT topics by combining real news and official website information with in-depth analysis and comparisons, making it easier for you to decide whether to invest in crypto, NFT, or the stock market. Subscribe to my channel for information. Don't forget to press the like button and the notification bell. Now let's get back to the video. The first thing you need to do is to set up your MetaMask wallet. MetaMask is a cryptocurrency wallet that works with almost all Ethereum-based platforms. While there are a variety of wallet services available, MetaMask is by far the most popular, with over 21 million monthly active users. MetaMask is a free hot wallet service that may be used through a smartphone app or a web browser extension. This means that similar to an ad blocker extension, you may download it directly onto your phone or the Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Brave or Edge browser. The hot aspect simply refers to the fact that it's always linked to the internet, allowing you to move your crypto assets around at any time. After you've downloaded MetaMask onto your device, open it and select the Create a Wallet option. Accept the terms of a brief disclaimer and create a password when requested. It's important to write down many copies of the password on various pieces of paper just like you would any other password. Taking a screenshot of a password, forwarding it to yourself in an email, or saving it as a note on your computer are all examples of creating digital duplicate of a password. Hackers could access everything electronically stored on your computer, so don't make it simple for them. After doing this, you'll need to set up your secret recovery phrase. A screen will appear that explains what a secret recovery phrase is and how to write it down, and why you should never reveal your secret recovery phrase to anyone. Again, it's best to save everything on paper rather than in a digital format. In a nutshell, your secret recovery phrase is made up of 12 different words. It's there as a backup in case you lose the phone or laptop where you downloaded your MetaMask wallet and need to import it into a new device. You must carefully duplicate each word in the order in which they appear on the screen. Even if you type all 12 words correct, it won't be able to import your account to the new device if it's in the wrong order. Before you may proceed to the final steps, MetaMask will ask you to type in the 12 word sequence. The next step is to buy ETH and SAND and transfer it to your wallet. The amount of money you put into your wallet is determined by how much you plan to use in the sandbox. To cover any initial fees, $100 worth of Ether is usually a good starting point for moderate use. When you click the buy button in your MetaMask wallet, you'll be sent to the window where you can either buy Ether or Wire or coin switch. With these options, you may buy Ether with a debit card or exchange it for other crypto tokens you own. You can also choose to transfer crypto assets from your MetaMask to other wallets by entering the recipient's public wallet address in the box given and specifying the amount including the gas fees once you purchased an amount of Ether. You can also use external services like NFT marketplaces or DeFi platforms or use the swap function which lets you trade Ether for a variety of different Ethereum-based tokens in-app. On most platforms, a connect button can be found in the top right corner of the screen. You'll be given the option to connect your MetaMask wallet after clicking it. To finish the connection process, you may need to sign a transaction. This doesn't cost you anything, it merely demonstrates that you're in charge of your finances. The next step is to connect your wallet to the Sandbox Marketplace. On the Sandbox map, click sign in in the top right corner. Make sure your wallet is also set to the correct blockchain as a project, and in this case, Ethereum. Next, click MetaMask. Then MetaMask will display a pop-up asking you to connect. Click Next and click the Connect button to continue connecting your wallet. The sandbox will now ask you to add an email address and create a nickname. After you've done that, click Continue to finish setting up your account. You can also voluntarily provide a password if you'd like to use the sandbox editor. Click Sign on the MetaMask signature request to complete your account. Once you've successfully connected, you'll see the account balance and profile picture in the top right of the website. And just like that, you're in the Sandbox Metaverse. The next step is up to you. Now what can you do in the Sandbox? You can purchase property and create games that other people can play. You also have the freedom to monetize the games on your property and make money as people play. You can use the Sandbox Game Maker to make fun games. The Game Maker is a basic and easy to use online tool that allows players to create, test and share experiences such as games within the Sandbox's metaverse. 
Whether or not they're skilled in the field, the Sandbox Maker is a platform for you to showcase your creative abilities, engage with communities, and contribute to the development of the Sandbox's metaverse. The online maker is simple to use and allows everyone to create their own experiences. It has a simple drag and drop interface. It allows you to arrange various items and pieces in an environment, specify how they interact, and then share your work with others in the Sandbox metaverse. There's no need to know how to code. From a large library of community developed and professional resources, you may display goods, put characters and change geography, arrange epic quests and organize structures in the game maker studio. You can also choose to rent out land, but it is advisable to create digital assets on your land to make it attractive to potential renters. The cost of renting out land is determined by a number of factors, including its size, location, and closeness to other popular communities and gaming events. It isn't as straightforward as it appears to be because people who want to rent examine the number of criteria before making a decision. So you must make your house appealing to renters. And now the final strategy that you can use is to start by creating or purchasing digital assets from the marketplace. Before renting out your land, make it presentable. This will assist you in getting a higher rent. And I hope you'll be able to set up your sandbox profile and start playing with the help of this video. Let me know if you have any issues in the comment section below. Thank you for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you've learned a thing or two. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon so you never miss an update. I really hope to see you again. Continue learning about crypto, NFT and the stock market.